Hey, Tony here. Today I want to do a video talking about 10 Disney films that are very sad that I have in my collection. So stick around. So I recently did a video talking about 10 films that I have in my collection that are really sad. So I kind of wanted to do a follow-up video of 10 Disney films that I have in my collection that have some really sad moments in it. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get this started with one of the first sad movies that I ever saw growing up, and that is Old Yeller. Now this is probably one of the first sad movies that I saw as a kid. Um, Disney was really famous for doing um, storytelling that have some sad elements to it. But overall, I really enjoyed this film. I love the way that it was shot um, with a Western type feel. Um, but what I really enjoy about this is just the story about this boy and this dog, which a lot of people can relate to growing up with a pet and um, having to deal with the loss of that pet. So if you've never seen Old Jeller, I would highly recommend you check this one out. Okay, of course, one that many people have seen, and that is Up. Um, a really fun movie, but it really starts off really sad as far as the storytelling is concerned. And um, if you've seen this movie, you know exactly which part I am talking about it being really sad. But it's another um, one that you should check out if you've never seen it. And then all of you that grew up watching the Toy Story films, as my kids did, um, I remember seeing this one in the theater. Um, Toy Story 3 was a great conclusion to the Toy Story um, saga. Of course, this is all before they decided to do a Toy Story 4, but to me, I think Toy Story 3 had a great ending. Very sad to see this little boy grow up throughout these three movies and having to part with these toys. Um, my kids grew up watching these films, so they were aging the same as Andy was aging. So we found it to be very sad. Um, so a really great um, um, closing of the three Toy Story films. Okay, next up we have The Lion King. Of course, we do know the story of um, what happened in The Lion King and what makes it very sad. For a very uplifting and fun movie, there is some very scary and some sad moments to it. So um, I do find that there is some sad elements to this film. Okay, next up we have the movie Coco. Now, of course, it has some sad elements toward the end of the film with this boy and his grandmother. And so I find that to be sad and another one that you should definitely check out if you've never seen it. Great film. I really enjoyed this one. I've seen it a couple of times and I would highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up we have another sad film called Bambi. Um, we all know and love this movie. Hopefully you love this movie. Um, I love it. It's a very short film. Very great animation. Um, classic Disney. But there are some sad moments throughout this film um, dealing with the loss of a mother. And um, if you've never seen Bambi, definitely be prepared for that. Very good film. Um, highly recommend it. Okay, next up, um, Disney did a great job with this movie called The Incredible Journey. Really great adventure story regarding these three pets, two dogs and a cat, who get separated and um, go on this journey throughout these, um, through the wilderness and the heartwarming tale of how they are all reunited with this family. Um, just a great story. This is another old classic Disney film that I would highly suggest you check out. Okay, one of the very first films that I remember ever seeing is called The Rescuers. Really great animation, great story. Um, I saw this one when I was a kid in the theater. And it is regarding a little girl named Penny who is an orphan, which brings on the sad element of it, um, the way that she is um, depicted and what happens with her throughout this story and the sad elements of that. I remember being really sad as a kid watching this movie. I uh, highly suggest you check out The Rescuers. And The Rescuers Down Under is another great one to, to follow that up with. Another Disney film that I remember seeing as a kid, one of the first Disney films I remember seeing, is The Fox and the Hound. Really fun story about this fox and this hound dog that um, go on an adventure together and their relationship with each other. And then as they get older, how that relationship um, is kind of separated. And that brings on the sad element of this story. If you've never seen The Fox and the Hound, I would highly suggest you check this one out. 
Yeah, the last sad movie I want to talk about is Oliver and Company. This is another one I saw in the theater when it was released back in the 80s. Very good story. Very, uh, it's a musical type Disney film. Great music, um, great story, but it does have a sad element to it. It is based loosely off of the Oliver Twist um, story. And um, Oliver is the main character, of course, and he is an orphaned cat who doesn't, um, who has a hard time getting adopted and who is put out on the streets and how he has to make his way through this big city um, with another group of um, dogs and cats and just how inter just how entertaining it is but it does ha have some sad elements to it so if you've never seen Oliver and Company this is another one that I would definitely recommend you checking out so those are 10 Disney films that have some really sad elements to them. I'm sure there's a lot more of Disney films because Disney does try to pull at the heartstrings with some sad moments throughout their films. But these are the 10 that really stuck out in my mind. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you have any other suggestions of Disney films that you find to be very sad, as I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time.